Hey guys, welcome back to another SoCal Law and Order video. Oh, it's that time of the year. Soil sample time to get our yards prepped and ready for the 2021 lawn season. This is a little hint of what I've got going on in a test plot that I will show you guys later. But first, let's get into this video. be doing a spectrum analytic soil sample you'll see the results before and after my recommendations from their soil sample report utilizing my pro plugger I took seven plugs from various locations throughout my yard I scraped off a little bit of the soil from each of the plugs and placed them into a bowl that will be used for my actual sample to my surprise this year the roots had actually grown a lot deeper from previous years, so that was a plus. I had this leftover mesh that I used on a previous project and I thought it would be great to separate the rock from the soil. And as you can see, it worked pretty well. I'm just going to place it inside of a Ziploc bag here, the remaining soil that I have left over, put it in a box. Um, I'll show you the form that I have to fill out and I'll see what they come back with. My big thing for this year coming up is to learn more about the CECs and I will leave a little description down below what the CEC stand for. That's it for right now and we'll wait for these results to come back and I'll show you guys what I got. Alright so here's my sample report back from Spectrum Analytic. Uh, the first thing you can see here at the top line is my pH was a 7.4. So since I know right off the bat that my pH is high and on the alkaline side that is the only thing that I'm going to address at the current moment. I have to make sure that the pH is right or else any other amendments will be useless. Alright, so as you can see in the video, it is important to take a soil sample so that way you can see exactly what you have going on with your soil. And it plays a big part in how your soil and your turf is going to actually respond to whatever amendments, fertilizers, and anything that you put down on your soil. So with me right now, you can see in the video, all I focused on was my pH and I used an elemental sulfur at 5 pounds per thousand to bring it back to where it is currently right now. That was a two week process of how long it took to actually come back up. All I can say is if you can afford it, get it done. If you want to dive deeper into your lawn, get a soil test. It doesn't have to be the spectrum analytic test. You can go out and get the yard mastery test. You can get a test from my soil and you can still get the basics of what's going on in your soil. I want to thank you for watching this video. Hopefully you learned a little something. And like I always say, Keep your lawnmower blade sharp, mow often, and keep your lawn in order. I'll see you in the next one.